Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Hello, everyone. Christina Werner here. Welcome to day 14 of the holiday card series for 2022. Today's card is one of those minimal supply cards where you really only need a little bit of watercolor paper, some paints, a brush, and a pencil. It's so fast and easy. So I'm going to be doing very simple lettering on the entire front of this five by seven piece of watercolor paper. I wanted to just say, fa la 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 like from the song. So if you do a fa and two laws and then three laws on each line going down, it fits perfectly. I thought it would be a great way to have sort of a whimsical look on a card, have it reference holidays, but not immediately look like a holiday card. So I first penciled on my writing. And if you're not uh, comfortable doing like a cursive or a script like this, I think you could definitely do just capital letters. It would be great. But I do encourage you to uh, pencil it on first to get some spacing right. And then after you penciled it on, use an eraser and just kind of erase most of it, not all of it, but most of it, uh, because pencil lines will get trapped under watercolor. So you want to make sure you've removed as much pencil as you can, but still leave a little bit of a guide. So I'm using some very inexpensive Crayola watercolor paints today. These are the washable watercolors. And so they don't have like a super solid line of color when you paint with them, but they work great. And I think for such a fun and whimsical look for a card, I think it really lends itself to that. So I painted these letters in rainbow order. I thought it, since I'm using rainbow colors, that would make a lot of sense. So for each letter, I moved on to the next color and I tried to drag in coming from that color or from the previous letter into the new letter. So now I'm going into the green and I'm going to bring that down into the yellow just a little bit um, and overlap it so that they'll sort of mix just a little bit on the paper. So there happens to be six letters in Falala, -la, and I'm using six colors. So I've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And then I'm just going to use those same colors, but I'm going to change which color I start the line with. So for the second line, I'm using a little bit of green, going to blue, purple, red, orange, and then ending in yellow. So I did that for the third line of text as well. This time I started with purple and went straight to red, orange, yellow, green. I think there might even might be blue on the end of this one, but I think it turned out so super cute. Now, if you've got a lot of weird spacing on your card, this is an opportunity to add some additional elements. So I decided to try adding stars. I just picked colors that would look good. Like I didn't want to put a red star right by that red A. Um, I put purple up here in this corner because there wasn't much purple. And I just wanted to have some additional pops of color and adding stars was a great way to do that. Like I mentioned, this is the washable uh, watercolor set from Crayola. So some of the areas were really kind of splotchy. So I did go over those again with some additional color, but for the most part, this painted on really, really well. Now I used a special, like a regular watercolor brush for this, but I think you could use that brush that comes in the Crayola set as well. So after I had that one done, I thought that went so quick. Let's try a variation. Let's do black watercolor paper this time. So I'm using some Stonehenge Legion black watercolor paper, and I'm using my most favorite metallic watercolor paints. These are from Yuli. These are all uh, colors from her Christmas line. Now, I saw someone on Instagram using one of these water pens uh, from Amazon, and unfortunately, I, don't, I couldn't find them outside of a pack of like 20 of them. So I have a lot of these water pens, but you basically just fill it with water and then um, 
a lot of water comes out when you write with it and it has a nice big bold line. The set I got had kind of like a brush tip too, but I wanted to use kind of like this big bullet nib that's on the end of this water pen. I think it's meant for like kids watercoloring books, but I saw this person on Instagram dropping in paint into different areas on her lettering and it looked absolutely beautiful and I wanted to give it a try. So I'm trying it out with this one. You could definitely just paint with your regular paintbrush, just like I showed in the first card, but I just wanted to try this out and see if I could get the colors mixing a little bit uh, more interesting. Now, when I saw this demonstrated on Instagram, she was dropping in color, like multiple colors on one letter, just from different like corners of the letter. Um, a little bit more like that green to blue transition right there. But um, I kind of wanted to keep more of it like one letter is each color, just to simplify it a little bit. So that's what I did. And as I moved along, I kind of got to know the water pen a little bit more and realized that if I really wanted to have the color move around, I needed a lot of water. I needed a lot of water to be laid down on the cardstock or on the watercolor paper. So um, I only did one letter at a time. Uh, with the water pen to make sure that it didn't dry too quickly. So I just added each one of those colors in and this, this went fairly quick. Um, it was a little bit, uh, a little bit more time consuming because I wasn't just painting it on there like usual, but I think it turned out just as great. And I loved the stars on that first card. So I decided to do stars on this second card as well. And I did try to draw those with the water pen at first, but then I realized it was just easier just to paint them with my regular brush. So I did paint the last few stars with the regular brush. So I used my heat tool to speed along the drying on this second card because there was so much water used. And once everything was dry, you can see those color transitions and how amazing those look. I just love it. It's so pretty on that black watercolor paper. Both of these cards were adhered to five by seven card bases. And I just used some Tombow Extreme Adhesive on the back of the watercolor paper and then down onto the card base. By the way, the white watercolor paper I used today is Canson XL watercolor paper. So those are the cards for day 14 of the holiday card series. Super fun and easy, minimal supplies. And I've heard from a few of you who picked up these Yuli watercolors in the last few months and you were looking for some ideas for holiday cards, this is a great one. Like I mentioned before, try it out with capital letters. Um, do some whimsical lettering and writing. I think it really lends itself to this type of card. Thanks so much for watching today. I'll be back with day 15 of the holiday card series in just a few days. Thanks for watching.